Welcome to the show. The Centers for Disease Control says obesity is the number one health threat in the U.S. today, leaving people at risk for diabetes, hypertension, and certain cancers. When diets don't work, more people are now turning to weight loss surgery. An estimated 150,000 people will do it this year. My guest can not only talk about weight loss surgery from a doctor's perspective, but also a patient's. Dr. David Daftian is a bariatric surgeon who underwent the lap band procedure himself a couple of years years ago. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Kind of unusual for the physician to have been the patient at one point. Uh, you look great. I mean, you're a, a walking pronouncement of weight loss surgery. Thank let's, you. let's back up a little bit and talk about weight loss surgery because we kind of lump it all into weight loss surgery. There's a couple different types of procedures. Is that correct? Yes, there are several procedures, some of them older, some of them newer, and the newest of the procedures uh, in the United States is currently lap band, uh, which is a procedure that has been FDA approved for about two years now, and which is the specific procedure that I underwent uh, two and a half years ago. Physicians are not immune from diseases, and I happen to have the disease of obesity, and I chose this treatment for myself because I saw it as the um, least invasive uh, and uh, just as effective as any other treatment and uh, I have benefited from this intervention tremendously and I'm very happy to have undergone it. Well this is the um, lab band. Um, this uh, it's made of uh, silicon. It's a firm silicon and it's uh, actual an inflatable ring and the ring part uh, is uh, uh, wraps around the stomach mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the port goes under the skin. It is not visible but palpable. So port provides an easy access uh, that the physician in the office can adjust the tightness of the fit of the band. And that brings us to the main difference in comparison to the other treatments. All the other treatments up until now have been one size fit all. As mm -hmm. we know, people are very different. Their eating habits are different. Their food preferences are different. Their weight is different. Certainly the function of their stomach may differ one from the other. And yet all of the surgeries when one were one size fit all. So it would be very difficult for any reasonable person to imagine that the results are going to be even in every individual. Lab band is the first treatment that provides an adjustable um, restriction to the uh, inlet into the stomach and thus it controls relevant to that particular individual's need. You can make the band tighter if uh, the weight loss is not adequate or sure. you can make the band looser if the weight loss is too much, too fast. Uh, and or if the individual has particular needs. For example, a young woman who has lost the weight thanks to lab band and has now gotten pregnant and requires normal food intake right. to sustain the normal growth of the fetus, you can deflate the band, adjust it to those particular needs and allow normal development of the fetus. And then once she delivers, you can tighten it back again right. and help her lose all the extra weight that she gained during pregnancy. Lab band procedure usually takes uh, one to two hours on average. It is uh, done uh, in a hospital setting. Uh, recently there has been a trend in moving into an outpatient setting and uh, there are new reports from East Coast particularly uh, as well as Chicago to uh, try to do this in surgery centers and there are very large series uh, of patients showing excellent uh, results. So it is conceivable that eventually this week will become an outpatient procedure. Uh, lab band, uh, after the procedure, patient stays overnight in the hospital and the following morning we do an x-ray to confirm the proper position of the band okay. and the patient is discharged home and a typical patient will, will return to work in three days. This is minimally invasive, it's done laparoscopically, there are uh, few uh, very, very small, less than half an inch uh, incisions uh, which are barely visible and a year out from the procedure they are usually imperceptible uh, and uh, patients are doing extremely well meaning that the uh, degree of discomfort or uh, degree of uh, uh, 
inability to work or anything. It's just minimal. I mean, most of my patients go back to work on third day. If I operate them Friday, right. they are back to work on Monday, wow. and they can boast with their new diet. Many of the patients do not want to disclose that they have had a procedure. Right. So that is another nice aspect because the procedure is uh, adjustable, thus it does not force you to immediately switch to, uh, you know, shakes. Right. Uh, you, you, you can still enjoy your normal cuisine to which you were accustomed to and which you are typically enjoying. It just forces you to eat a lot slower, take smaller bites, chew it very thoroughly, and get satisfied with much smaller portions. For the first time, we're facing an epidemic of adult onset diabetes in pediatric population. It sounds like an oxymoron, but that is the sad reality of today's America. Just last week on CNN, it was announced that one of the major uh, centers in the nation was opening pediatric unit for adult onset diabetes. Wow. This is uh, incredible. This is very, very sad. And I think as a nation, we need to face this epidemic. We need to confront this epidemic. And given the fact that we do not have uh, very effective uh, medications and a low profile of morbidity of the lab band, I think the lab band at this point is the best solution. It is very easy to place. It is a low morbidity procedure. It is a reversible procedure, meaning that if tomorrow we come up with medications which fix the problem, just take the band take out. There is no problem doing that. So uh, uh, having myself had the band, I uh, think uh, that I'm a strong proponent of the band because it helped me solve my problems with obesity, and I think uh, a lot of people deserve that uh, opportunity. And yet this isn't necessarily a magic bullet. I know earlier you said that people can eat the things that they want to eat, but there are some changes still that have to go on. Absolutely. I'm a strong believer. You know, my background is actually an oncological surgeon, and as an oncological surgeon, I am a strong believer in comprehensive care. In oncology, we need a cancer surgeon as well as a medical oncologist and a radiation oncologist hand-in-hand -hand to treat the patient as a whole. So, uh, both from my background as well as from my understanding of obesity, both as a personal problem as well as a problem of my patients. I'm a firm believer in comprehensive care. Uh, obesity is not the, just a disease of the mouth. Uh, shutting one's mouth, which lab band effectively does, may not necessarily help. It's, uh, in many instances, it's a disease of the mind. It's a, uh, disease with uh, uh, genetic predisposition, hereditary components, it is a disease with great environmental influences. So I think we need to declare an all-out war on this disease and uh, treat uh, everybody and treat them whole as an individual. We need to change the eating uh, habits of this country, we need to change the food industry with its marketing of uh, high uh, sugar products, and uh, which is happening, and I'm glad to see. Yeah. I mean, uh, institutions such as McDonald's are responding very quickly. The uh, uh, you know, low-carb uh, influences are very strong, and uh, so I'm very happy to see all of this uh, is happening, and yet in every individual needs to be addressed uh, uh, as a whole. Uh, we need behavioral changes, we need uh, exercise, yeah. uh, um, and the lab band is just a tremendous tool to help us uh, put this all into place. Let's talk a little bit about the downside. I'm sure that some people have experienced um, some issues, some problems. We hear about some really extreme issues with some of the more drastic procedures. Any downsides to the lap band? Well, the only major downside, I think, with the lap band, which is a perceived uh, downside, is that uh, rate of weight loss is uh, not as fast as with other procedure, okay. which to me is a benefit because with rapid weight loss, uh, which occurs after gastric bypass or biliary or pancreatic diversion, uh, those operations um, completely bypass your intestinal system or incompletely, depending on how you construct the uh, connections. But basically what those procedures involve is disruption of the normal flow of food and bypassing some of the digestive pathways, so in effect at the very end to cause partial malabsorption mm. of food. Right. So because of that, uh, the weight loss is fairly rapid, and with that you lose a lot of protein, 
you lose a lot of vitamins, you develop malnutrition with all of its complications. Also, you do not absorb some of the important vitamins, for example, B12, or some important minerals such as iron. And patients tend to develop anemias. Oh. So many of these patients may appear pale, uh, they may um, lose uh, muscle. So by losing a muscle tone, all of a sudden that extra skin uh, starts hanging and then they need uh, surgical reconstruction of all of this. Uh, the nice thing about the uh, lab band is none of this, uh, well, I shouldn't say none, but a lot of these complications do not occur because of the slower pace. Right. However, for many patients, it, it, uh, it's a downside. The most common phone calls I get from my patients is that, doctor, I've lost only 60 pounds in six months. What's wrong? Wow. And uh, the point is that nothing is wrong. It's just you're going at 10 pound a month uh, rate, which is great, and you're going to sustain this rate for the next four years, so get ready for it. I mean, it's uh, slowly but surely you will lose the weight. And the nice thing about it is that uh, you need to be less worried about the need for the plastic reconstruction, right. certainly a lot less worry about uh, certain uh, protein uh, deficiencies, uh, vitamin deficiencies, or mineral deficiencies. Uh, the other downside with the uh, lab band is which is a true downside, is that you can cheat it. You can cheat it with ice cream. You can cheat it uh. with liquid calories. So uh, lab band originally was invented in uh, Belgium. And uh, I had my operation in Belgium, and I also trained under Belgian surgeons who invented and promoted this procedure. Dr. Cadier has been one of the pioneers of this procedure, and I trained with Dr. Cadier. And we had a large uh, influx of German patients. Well, Germans are big time beer drinkers. <laughs> so one of the standard questions was, uh, you know, you, you, you drink a six pack a day or a 12 pack a day, sure. you know? And uh, based on those questions, we would uh, uh, rule out certain uh, patients and uh, not perform the operations because we knew that for these patients who are big time beer drinkers and consumers of liquid calories, lab band may not be the best solution. Uh, lab band is not for everybody, and uh, there are certain people who will not benefit from lab band. I mean, if there are people who are addicted to ice cream or uh, right. high-calorie uh, milkshakes, lab band may not help them, although there are adequate uh, studies from a uh, very prominent Australian uh, investigator, Dr. O'Brien, which are showing that, quote-unquote, sweet eaters do just as well, uh, you know, I personally would be worried about the person who is truly living on an ice cream diet. And there are many amongst our uh, obese individuals, those who are uh, basically live with uh, smoothies and milkshakes all day long. Yeah. And uh, one other uh, note of caution is also there is a entity such as maladaptive eating disorders, mm -hmm. meaning that if you, with the lab band, you block their ability to enjoy pizza or McDonald's, sure. they may shift to softer calories, uh, again, such, cheat it. such as ice cream, mm -hmm. and again, cheat it. So it is very, very important that you do have a comprehensive program uh, where you have a nutritionist that goes yeah. over all of these issues. I am discussing this uh, basically very, very detailed with my patients to make sure that they are aware that uh, they need to control their own sugar cravings as far as ice cream goes and milkshakes and uh, soft calories. However, in most of my patients, uh, until now, it has not turned out to be a problem, and uh, patients lose weight in spite of it because you still are taking away the vast uh, number of calories right. from their pizza and uh, cheeseburger diets. Lab band uh, changes, it changed my life tremendously, and uh, for most of my patients, every single patient says this is the best thing I've done for myself, which is certainly true for me and is true for every patient of mine. Lab band uh, not only helps you lose weight, it helps you regain your self-esteem, it helps you regain your uh, confidence, feel attractive again, uh, changes people's lives tremendously, makes you be healthy again, uh, more energetic, uh, makes you feel younger. 10, 15 years. Uh, it's a phenomenal tool, uh, and we use this tool in combination with uh, comprehensive 
approach to the patient. Uh, we have nutritionists, we have psychosocial support, we have exercise support. So it's a comprehensive program which makes for a very, very successful outcome and extremely happy patients. Terrific. And again, it is FDA approved. Uh, you know, people should have some confidence going into it and at least go in and ask some questions about it, find out what their best options are. Absolutely. Terrific. We are out of time for the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. For joining me and we will see you again on Southland today. My name is Tanya. I'm a patient of Dr. Daftian's. I have the lap band, it's been two years now, exactly. And I lost 100 pounds the first year and I've kept it off for another year. Life with the lap band is wonderful. It's definitely made my life so much easier. And what I mean by that is it's just easier. I don't think about what I'm eating. I don't think about if I'm going to eat too much or if I'm going to eat too little. It's just, it really helps regulate what I'm eating and how much I'm eating. With the lap band, I don't feel deprived at all. I don't feel like I'm dieting. I can eat whatever I want. It's just the portions are smaller. So it's, it's not a dieter's mentality. It's wonderful. The reason I chose the lap band is because it's, well, I've known several people who had had it done and they were extremely happy. And also, it's not an invasive surgery, so it's a very easy surgery. The recovery is easy. It's not a lot of cutting, and you're still eating everything that you want. It just helps regulate your meals. The hardest part um, deciding to get the lap band was I was ashamed, and I, I felt like I should be able to do it on my own. I felt like I, I was failing and now that I have the lap band and I've told different people, it's, it's funny the response that I get. They're like, I'm so proud of you and you're brave, which is completely not what I thought. But now it's just like, I'm not a victim. I did something to help change my life and my health and the way I feel. So the lap band has definitely empowered me in that I'm free. I don't have a burden of weight or food or what people are thinking about me. I just feel the way I think I was born to feel. I feel just confident, happy, content. I think I feel normal. <laughs> I chose Dr. Daftian after looking at several doctors and interviewing with them. I really, really liked the way that he was very empathetic, very one-on-one. -on -one. He also has a lap band, and you can just tell because compassion just oozes out of him. He's a wonderful physician. With the lap band, it's not that you don't get hungry, but you never feel ravenous. It's, it's more that um, you get hungry and you're satisfied easily. You get cravings just like a, a normal person would, the wonderful thing is you can eat a little bit and you're satisfied. Some changes in the quality of life for me since the lap band are, there's several. Socially, it's much nicer <laughs> to go out. Um, physically, I feel great. I have a ton of energy. I'm not hot. I don't get sweaty. My legs don't rub together. I, I just feel really good. Um, Mentally, I feel, again, just, I feel a freedom. And um, I just feel, it's definitely changed in every aspect. I love the lap band. It's the best thing I ever did. It's completely changed my life, emotionally, physically, spiritually, I mean, in every, in every aspect. Um, I feel like I'm the person that I'm supposed to be now. I feel free. I feel, I move easy. I'm, I'm not bogged down by thoughts of dieting and weight and all of those things. It's, I just feel wonderful. My name is Kashi and I got the surgery about seven months ago. As of this date right now, I have lost 67 pounds. And before going to see Dr. Davitian, I lost about 13 pounds just to go see him so that my weight would be a little lower so the scales can see my weight. So altogether, really realistically, probably about 78, 74 pounds, right around there. I don't have diabetes no more, you know, and I had it. I had type 2 diabetes 
in August and I had it very, it was, it was very high and ever since I did the lap band that went away. Once you see that your pounds just keep dropping, you know, once a week, suddenly you're, you're at this and then, you know, at this weight and then suddenly next week you're at this weight and then next week you're a little bit lower and lower and you're like, oh man, this is working, this is okay. You know, so what happens, it drives your mind to, to do harder things like work out and, and to get on the bike or to treadmill and, and lose more weight from the calories that you're, you know, that you're consuming and burning. So, I mean, honest to God, I would do it over and over again for anybody that's thinking twice about this, don't, just do it. My name is Colleen and I am Dr. Daftian's nurse. Um, I have the lap band also. I was, uh, let's see, it's been about 10 months now and I'm down 60 pounds. I still have, I'm hoping for another 40 to go and um, it's been consistently about a pound uh, to two pounds a week. As a nurse, I liked that it was uh, less invasive, that you could be back to work up on your feet in three to four days, that um, I would still function normally, my body would function normally, so I wouldn't have malabsorption, I wouldn't have dumping syndrome, I wouldn't, um, you know, have all the, my hair would not fall out, and because it's a slower weight loss, um, your skin has time to, to pull back in, and, you know, that's why, is because I, I could see the results and I could see the good things, and, um, I liked what I was seeing. You know, I've seen patients come. Um, I was in clinic last week, and there was um, two patients that came in. One male, he was um, lost 215 pounds, and um, and then the same day, a, a girl came in. She lost 145 pounds, and uh, she was engaged. And um, in fact, her um, fiance had the lap band done, so they. Um, it was kind of fun to see that uh, here their lives, both of them changed and here they're, they're getting married and um, so that's exciting. I decided to pursue the lap band because of what I read about it um, and I was desperate. I needed something to work. Um, I really actually kind of gave up on, I couldn't do another diet. Um, I can't even tell you how many times I joined Weight Watchers. I mean, if they really kept record of it, it's had to be at least 40 times in the last 20 years. And, you know, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it anymore. I, because I knew if I lost it, I would gain it again. You know, it almo I almost feel like I'm an evangelist for, for the program because I feel, I really believe in the program or just the lap band itself that I want everyone to know. And I, I won't, I, it's not in my personality to go to someone on the street and say, have you tried this or maybe you should think of this. But if anyone were to ask me, you know, um, and I'm so willing. At first I was like, mm, I don't know if I want anyone to know that I'm getting this done. It's another thing that I'm going to try. And when I decided to work for Dr. Dafting, I thought, you know, I probably should start telling people. And, um, and it's, I've been received very well, and I think people are, are just really wanting to, to have an answer and a hope also, you know, for their, for their health. Dr. Dafty, and I love the way that he dealt with me and with other patients, is that he was very, not only empathetic, but he was sympathetic. Um, he had a lap band, and he, he really looks at obesity as a disease process. and. You know, I can see the results of what disease does to someone. So I, I can, you know, I can believe in that also. The lap band helps curb hunger. Um, I also say it's, it's forced portion control. So if you're an emotional eater, you know, if you are a binge eater, um, there's only so much you can put in there. Um, I'll give an example. One time I was having a very stressful uh, week, and I was like, I came home and said, that's it, I'm ordering a pizza. We're gonna have a pizza, and ordered it. It came, and I could only eat one piece. And it was like, oh, I can't even binge on pizza anymore. But it was good. That's what I wanted. I wanted that boundary. You know, I still had a piece. Um, I've also had to learn how to to deal with 
um, things emotionally, you know, let's do something that's healthy, you know, let's go running, let's play tennis, um, stuff I couldn't do when I was 60 pounds heavier. I think um, when you lose weight, your confidence improves and your sense of self-esteem, when you realize it's not going to happen again, you're not going to gain it all back. And I, it just it has given me so much more confidence. Because one, when you're not obsessed about your food or your weight or you know how you think other people think about you, um, you can start investing yourself in relationships and trying things different and new. I think the biggest change for me, um, being a professional dieter and um, feeling like I was going to fail again, but at that point where I can't give up, I, I know as a nurse, I'm right around the corner from heart problems, from diabetes, my cholesterol was getting high. I had to figure out something that would work. Um, and I think the biggest change for me really is um, hope. You know, it's, it's not being obsessed with what I'm eating anymore. Um, I just know that when I had the surgery, um, the day of surgery, I looked to my husband, I said, this is the, the last day that I will be this weight. And, um, and it has, it was the last day. And I know I will never be that weight again. And that, you know, for someone who has tried since I, I was nine years old, I'm, I'm getting there. And I know it's going to work. The hardest part um, deciding to get the lap band was I was ashamed. And I, I felt like I should be able to do it on my own. I felt like I, I was failing. And now that I have the lap band and I've told different people, it's, it's funny the response that I get. They're like, I'm so proud of you and you're brave, which is completely not what I thought. But now it's just like, I'm not a victim. I did something to help change my life and my health and the way I feel, so. The lap band has definitely empowered me in that I'm free. I don't have a burden of weight or food or what people are thinking about me. I just feel the way I think I was born to feel. I feel just confident, happy, content. I think I feel normal. <laughs> I chose Dr. Daftian after looking at several doctors and interviewing with them. I really, really liked the way that he was very empathetic, very one-on-one. -on -one. He also has the lap band, and you can just tell because compassion just oozes out of him. He's a wonderful physician. With the lap band, it's not that you don't get hungry, but you never feel ravenous. It's, it's more that um, you get hungry and you're satisfied easily. You get cravings just like a, a normal person would, the wonderful thing is you can eat a little bit and you're satisfied. Some changes in the quality of life for me since the lap band are, there's several. Socially, it's much nicer <laughs> to go out. Um, physically, I feel great. I have a ton of energy. I'm not hot. I don't get sweaty. My legs don't rub together. I, I just feel really good. Um, Mentally, I feel, again, just, I feel a freedom. And um, I just feel, it's definitely changed in every aspect. I love the lap band. It's the best thing I ever did. It's completely changed my life, emotionally, physically, spiritually, I mean, in every, in every aspect. Um, I feel like I'm the person that I'm supposed to be now. I feel free. I feel, I move easy. I'm, I'm not bogged down by thoughts of dieting and weight and all of those things. It's, I just feel wonderful.